What's up guys, this is Bernard GDO. I'm here at Hollywood Sports. You're watching another episode of the Project Upgrade. I know I've talked about Dorito movement before, but this video is advanced Dorito movement. And I'm gonna show you guys a few more fine-tuned tricks for when you're playing in the Dorito and really how to attack, but how to stay alive and at the same time get G's, which is shooting the uh, opposing team. So first thing I wanna show you guys is when you're in the Dorito, first of all, you gotta keep that gun slanted, tilted, so that way when you come out, like I said, you always wanna eliminate excess body. So when I come out high, one trick I always like to do is the minute I come out high, I put in some balls, I instantly drop a knee. When I drop this knee, I'm still playing and I'm still shooting that lane. So really your gun never falls, you're never going in, all you're doing is changing what height you're shooting. So like I said, I'm low, I'm shooting, I instantly come high, but I'm never coming into the bunker. It's just a quick drop, it's a quick move, and what it allows you to do is still own the lane. So it's very important when you're in a Dorito, if you win that lane, which means you come out and your opposing player goes in, you gotta stay on that. So I'm shooting and I instantly drop low. I never go inside, and a lot of players, what they like to do is they like to come inside, put their gun up like this, then come low. No, you're gonna come instantly low. The next move I like to do is when I'm low, as I'm head checking, I'm basically just using my left leg and I'm keeping my right leg planted and I'm just kind of scooting out. So at any time I could come back in, but at any time I can push off my right foot and move into the next bunker. So really all you're doing is you're utilizing your left leg and you're kind of scooting it out. You're keeping your right leg planted and this is your push leg. So the minute you see that gap where the opposing player is not shooting and then you know you can make that bump, you're instantly up and your gun's up ready to go. So those are two very simple tricks that will help you play the Doritos a little bit better. The third trick is, when you're shooting high, you tend to lose a lot of bunker coverage because the Doritos cone at the top. Hence the reason why they're called Doritos. You know, no one's eating these things out here. This ain't a dip, we ain't got Tostitos. What we're doing out here is we're playing behind an air ball bunker. So what you gotta do is when you come high and this thing eliminates coverage for you and now you really can play both sides of the Dorito, this is a great way to close the game because what you can do in these Doritos is you can be shooting on the inside but you can instantly wrap. And when you wrap, you're still getting a view of the field. You're getting that depth you need because you're able to see more of the field. But at the same time, you can come low and still have coverage. So it's an excellent bunker to close from. And what you always wanna do is when you get in these Doritos, always look for the wrap. So what you can do is when you wrap, you come in here, which means you come around the left side of your bunker, you're shooting on the inside of the field. So instead of shooting shots you could shoot from the right side, you're shooting those shots from the left side. You're giving yourself more coverage and it's allowing you to move down the field if you still need to. And then another trick I like to do is when I'm down low in the Doritos, I like to shoot on the right side and instantly head check on the left. My gun's still in my right hand and if I see him shooting that lane, I instantly move to the next Dorito. It's just a quick step. All you do is you're coming in here, you instantly look left. If he's still shooting that lane, you move into the next one. So it's a bait and switch. It works almost every time. And if the player doesn't know what you're doing, the minute you go into the next bunker, you don't shoot your gun, you wait for him to expose his body and you blow his head off the field. And that's always a good move as well. Bear to GDO, thank you for watching the project update.